Welcome to the Interaction Client Did You Know video series by CPI. Hi, this is Ruth Lockery here with another edition of our Interaction Client Did You Know video series. Today we're going to be talking about call handling and we're going to focus specifically on the basics. Let's start by looking at what happens in your client when a call presents. Notice the My Interactions tab with no call available and your button bar is all gray. When a call comes in, all of the appropriate buttons light up, and now you have call control available to you from right here within your client. As the call is presenting here in your My Interactions tab, notice there are several ways you can answer. You can double click on the call. You can click the pickup button. You could right click on the call and use the context menu. You could even pick up the handset. Now that you're on the call and you have control of it from within your client, you can place the call on hold by clicking the hold button. And of course, you can mute the call by using the mute button. Those are toggles. You press it to turn the function on and you press it again to turn the function off. Next, I want to show you something really powerful about your voicemail. A call presents in your client and you take a look at it and you see the number and you recognize the name and you think, I don't have time to take this call right now. With that call highlighted, you can click the voicemail button and send the caller directly to your voicemail. They don't know that you've chosen to screen the call. They just go directly into your voicemail. Now look at the listen button. You can click here and you can listen to the message that the person is leaving again without them knowing about it. This is really a powerful feature to allow you to control what time you use when you speak with different folks. If you don't see some of these same buttons, like the listen button on your button bar in your client, remember that you can customize which buttons appear and the order of their appearance. Your access to different buttons is controlled by your system administrator. One other thing about your voicemail. Let's say you come back to your desk and you see in your client that there is a caller leaving you a message and you realize this is the call that you have been waiting for all day. What do you do? Did you know that you can double click or click the pickup button and pull that call back out of voicemail? That's a really fun thing to do because the person's leaving the message and you suddenly start talking to them, but it's a great way to avoid ever missing a call. Finally, of course, there's the disconnect button. I could talk about that, but I'll bet you've already figured out what that one's for. Of course, you can always just hang up the phone. That's it for this episode. Go refill your popcorn bowl and come back because our next video is about how to transfer and conference calls. Thank you for watching. You can find more information and comment on this video at blog.comprod.com.